I heard you arriving. I wasn't expecting you. Uh, well, I... I suddenly found a gap in my schedule. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. Come on in. I got bored waiting. I hope it's all right. <laughs> Mr. White wants to open up this room and still have access to upstairs. That's easy. Move the staircase over here. Oh, no, Stephanie, that wouldn't work. It'd take up space in the bedroom, and he doesn't want that. Got an idea? I might have. Have you got any paper to draw on? There should be something in the van. And your phone. To call Mum. She worries. <laughs> Millicent thinks this one makes the room look bigger, apparently. <coughs> Millicent's not here, then. Yeah, we're this morning. Trade fair. Who's the girl with Blake? Nice looking. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You've cut your hair. It's beautiful. Beautiful? It's only a bob. <sighs> if you say so. No, I'm not interrupting, am I? No, I'm just... Browsing. I was just on my way for some ice cream, if you'd care to join me. I have to warn you. I'm something of a connoisseur when it comes to ice cream. Well, what if I guarantee you, you won't have tasted better? Then lead on. We've come across some great ideas for your staircase. And Blake reckons we can save a bit if we buy straight from the makers and we'll build the thing ourselves. You really are enthusiastic about this, aren't you? I like making things. In school, I was top of the class in all the technical subjects every year. Could have gone to college, me. I should have gone to college, me. Why didn't you? Because my father said all that stuff was for faggots. And what does he do, your father? He drinks. In between binges, he fixes cars. My father was a difficult man to live with, too. When my mother threatened to leave, he called her a bitch. shot her dead and then killed himself. I know he called her a bitch because <laughs> my brother and me were there. Oh, God. <laughs> there. That's my horror story. Anyone who stays around these parts for more than five minutes gets to hear about it. You're the first to get it from the horse's mouth. Of course. You certainly have been busy, Millicent. Really. First rate. Thank you, Vincent. Well, I'll make us some coffee.
Hello, Mr. Blake. What can I do for you? Uh, we thought we might use your shed as a storeroom. Sure. Uh, let's see. Um, this one's the key to the shed. And this one is the key to the front door, in case I'm not at home and you need to get in. Oh. Thank you. They're lovely. Like their wearer. You old smoothie. Old? Well, older than me. Well, I'm not that much older. I mean, you and I could go out to dinner without people staring and saying, look at that old wrinkly with that lovely young girl, couldn't we? Is that an invitation? Well, I don't do much beyond <laughs> drawing a salary, if I'm to be honest about it. Don't the others object to that? Well, Alfred thinks he should look after me, and uh, as for Millicent, I wish she might, she's never said so. You ever tried anything else? Once. Africa. Myself and some friends were going to become leading lights in the safari business. <laughs> it was a complete disaster, of course. And I came home four years ago. Ever been married? No. Gay. And I'm your beard for the night. No, I'm not gay. <laughs> what is this, the third degree? It's just small talk. Oh. Well, thanks for a great evening. But not the last, I hope. We'll see. What? I said we'll see. After a period of mature reflection. But you just said you'd had a great evening. And I'd like to leave it at that. At least for a little while. Is there someone else? Someone else? If there was, I wouldn't have been out with you. Oh, for God's sake, I... I didn't mean it like that. Look, there's no one else. I had a good time, and we may do it again. All right. Millicent's been uh, tarting up some of the displays. So what's different? I would still like to see you again. thought any more about that? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't understand. There's nothing to understand, Vincent. Yes? I'm finished here. I'm on my way. I have to go. Hello, 
I'm innocent. What can I do for you? Nothing. I just... I saw you on foot and I thought you might need a lift. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I'm taking the train up to London. For the journey. It's a pity. We used to have such fun in cars. You and I. Yeah. Well, I was then, Millicent. You'll have heard about the trouble at Blake's. Hello. Hi. Mum, hmm? why don't I meet you at the bank? OK. Got a bundle to do today. Look, look Steph, I just heard what happened. If there's anything I can do to help, you only have to ask. Thanks. We're OK. I just got rid of the police. I thought I'd call round. See how you're doing? <sighs> you know, you really must take better care of yourself, Vincent. You know, all these pills and things, they can't be good for you. I've been trying to get some sleep, really. I'm just trying to get some sleep. Oh, <laughs> Millie. You haven't called me that in such a long time. Isn't that better? Very soon, this will all be just a bad memory. I have so many bad memories, Millie. <laughs> so many. I know, I know. But very soon, <gasps> when we're together again, I'll make you forget about all these bad things. Will you, Millie? Oh, of course I will. used to be like, Vincent. Oh, what are you doing? I 
Oh, naturally, I'll wait. Wait, 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 wait for what? Well, for us to be together again, darling. You said that we had to stop because of Alfred, and now that Alfred's dead. No, no, no. You, you think that you and I. You actually think that you well, and I. Of course I, I think. Oh, you're stupid. Stupid. Don't call me that, Vincent. Why do you think I stayed here with your bloody brother? Don't you dare malign him. He was a good man. He has beaten me mercilessly. That's a lie. Going on and on about my sordid little affair. Torturing both of us with his jealousy. He couldn't bear. Uh, he knew. No. He just heard me talking to you once on the phone. And look, I, did. I didn't say your name, but he oh, heard Oh, God. Vincent, Get off! He's gone! Get Vincent. your bloody hands off me, you bitch! I could never go back to that. It was disgusting. You're disgusting. Vincent, you're overwrought. You don't know what you're saying. Get out. Vincent. Get out and stay out. Vincent. Get out now or I'll kill you. I swear to God. I'll kill you. Hi. Hello. Cost of material so far. Blake's not charging for our time. Disconsiderate of him. I'm only the messenger. Is that it? Yes. Look, Steph, can't we just try again? Even if it's only to be friends. If she hadn't been about to leave, none of this would have happened. Did I say she was leaving alone? Not taking her children with her? What kind of a mother is that? She knew how much I loved her, but she was just going to leave. Just walk out the door. People shouldn't just leave like that. I promised Blake I'd help out with the job. Blake? He is the boss. I could make it over tonight, though, if you wanted. Steph? Yeah? Are your feelings for me more than those of a friend? And could we be... I think we could. That would make me so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I 
Be there a date, I'll make you the best dinner you've ever had. I'll be there. Promise. What's this? None of your business. Lucky girl. It's not like that. But one wonders what she'd think if she knew about us. I mean, your brother's wife. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? I'm only joking, Vincent. I'm just pulling your leg. It's me. Um, is there something wrong? Rush of blood to the head, I don't know, but... When I got home and had time to think, it just seemed like a bad idea. Will I, um... Will I see you at all? I don't think so. I'm sorry, Vincent. Truly. How did he sound? How do you think? This is Jack Blake. Please leave your message after the tone. Uh, Stephanie. <laughs> Please call me. Stephanie. I must have called a hundred times. Steph. Please, please, please listen to me. Of course I'll be there. Yes. Three o'clock. I will be. See you there. 